potato. Humble potato. Pretty boring, right? Maybe not. One of the things uh, people like to do with potatoes is make mashed potato. Now, uh, mashed potato is um, a staple um, nutritional food that we eat a lot of here, certainly in the UK. But it always seems to be a bit boring, and people sometimes get it a bit wrong, make it a bit runny, never get enough flavour in it. So I'm going to show you today how to make perfect mashed potato that's nice and fluffy and nice and creamy. And do you know what? There's more variations of mashed potatoes than you might think. So here uh, we have a pan of water, just plain old water on the stove. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to get some salt into this. Um, a nice chef's pinch of salt, probably about a teaspoon of salt, into the water. And then we're just going to pop the heat on it and bring it to a slow rolling boil. And there you are, with that pan um, on the stove, we'll just leave that now to come to a slow uh, boil while we concentrate our potatoes. Now, the quantity that you make is up to you. Um, I'm going to make enough probably to feed two, three people, okay? Um, so we're going to get some potatoes and we're going to get them peeled and get them in that hot water, which is the standard thing that you do every single time you make any sort of mashed potato. And there you go. So once you've got that potato cut, we're going to pop that straight into the pan of water as it's coming to a boil. And with those potatoes in the water, we're going to bring them to a boil. Um, just leave them to boil. Uh, once they're boiling, leave them on a rolling boil then for about 20 minutes. One of the um, one of the techniques to getting perfect mashed potatoes is not to overboil them. Okay, you don't want them soft and soggy and falling apart. Not at all. What you want is you want the knife to just start to go through them so that they're just cocked. Um, as if you were going to eat them um, if they were just boiled potatoes. That's the first secret. <laughs> While those potatoes um, are boiling away over there and you're going to need to leave them boil for around about 20 minutes or so just so that this knife goes through them um, without breaking them and they're soft just al dente in the middle and um, what you need to do is to get yourself a colander um, of some sort okay um, because this is the next stage of uh, this is another uh, technique of making mashed potatoes lots of people always miss this out um, is that you need your potatoes to be very, very dry before you mash them. And the reason for this is that um, you want to be able to add your own uh, fluids, okay, your own liquids to this, and that includes your butter, oil, uh, milk, whatever you're going to put it. So the drier the potatoes are, the more of your own fluid you can put in them. Makes perfect sense. So these potatoes have been boiling now for about 20 minutes or so, um, and the knife just goes through them, so they're ready to come off. So you need to be a little bit careful with these because obviously they are boiling hot. Get yourself a tea towel, and the heat off, and get them in the colander to dry out. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave them to dry for about five minutes or so. You don't want them to go cold, but what you want is you want them to go dry, and you'll see them drying out. Um, and then we're going to get our saucepan, which is also going to be dry, and that is what we're going to mash them in. And after a couple of minutes, if you look, if you give them a bit of a shake, and you look at the texture of these potatoes, you'll see that they're a little bit fluffy 
um, and sort of flaking apart a little bit on the on the outside and that makes these nice and dry and nice and ready to be mashed. So these potatoes can go straight back into the pan that they came out of ready to be mashed and all we're going to use is a standard potato masher and a wooden spoon. So the whole mashing process is uh, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, give your arm a bit of a good workout, but you need to get them really well mashed. Don't don't do this by half measures. Give them a good old mash. Uh, get them nice and fluffy. So once you've got your mashed potato, light mashed potato, it's at this point that you're going to um, cream it up really with a wooden spoon. Now, standard wise, what we would do is pop a, a great, generous, generous, generous amount of butter in uh, into that mash. A splash of milk, like I said before earlier on, that's your your fluids that you're adding. And you can get away with that now because the mash is quite dry. So as you can see, um, I've added quite a generous amount of butter to that, uh, probably about 30, um, 40 grams of butter, and that's made that mash lovely and creamy. Throw a splash of milk in there, and that is ready to go. Beautiful, creamy mashed potatoes. Enjoy. But like I said at the start of this video, there are other ways to make this mashed potato a little bit more exciting, add a little bit of a twist to it, because mashed potato doesn't need to be boring. So, if we hadn't added the butter and the milk, there are other ingredients that we could add to this to give this mash a nice little twist. One thing um, I quite like to add, because I spent a lot of time working in, um, like, in Italian restaurants and stuff, is to make an olive mash, um, if you ever tried olive mash. But what you need is some extra virgin olive oil. Make sure it's the extra virgin stuff because it's obviously got a much stronger flavour than uh, your standard olive oil. Standard olive oil won't make much difference. So some extra virgin olive oil and substitute that for your butter um, and you are going to get a completely different taste to your mashed potato olive mash give it a try or alternatively another sort of mashed potato um, that maybe not a lot of people would think about is to make a garlic mash um, and yet yeah, all you need to do is to get yourself some lazy garlic or crushed garlic um, crush it yourself or buy it in the jar get yourself about a teaspoon of that into your mashed potato and then try and see what that tastes like and if you like garlic you're gonna love garlic mash And finally, um, my last variation on my mashed potato, although there are many more that you can try, is probably a little bit more popular as a mustard mash. And the technique to getting the texture and the flavour right with a mustard mash is to use two different types of mustard. You're going to want to get yourself some whole grain mustard, okay, um, because that's going to give the mash the texture. And you're going to want some standard English mustard, and that's going to give it the flavour and that little bit of a kick that we all associate with a really good mustard mash. A teaspoon of each or whatever to flavour uh, to your own, own taste except of those two. Mustard mash, great for bangers and mash. So as you can see from the couple of variations that I gave you there, mashed potato never, never needs to be boring. Um, in fact, it's a very versatile um, staple food. Um, mustard, olive, garlic, just to name three. So give it a go. Try making the mashed potato that way and adding a couple of those ingredients to it. Add a little bit of a twist to your meal times. Enjoy.